here with Masato of Cold Rain. How are you? Pretty good. Did I pronounce your name right? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to mess it up, but... Okay, Cold Rain is here on Warp Tour. Tell me what Warp Tour has been like so far. Um, it's our first time here. Um, it's been fresh. I mean, playing festivals every day. It's already been a month, a little over a month. Um, it's been crazy. Every day is um, playing in front of new new crowds, um, checking out new bands, and sweating like crazy. So it's been great. It's, been it's great. hot, isn't it? Okay. Now you have an album out called Vina. Yes. yes. Okay. Does that stand for something? Um, when we were writing the music, we were talking about roots and where 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 we came from as a band, um, starting up. Just just getting in touch with those roots um and i just wanted something that meant like veins and roots it was just this image that came along and vena is um latin for veins so it was like it was just like cool that the how the words worked out and that's what we went with now on this album you do a collaboration with jacoby shaddix of papa roach yeah. how did you did you know him before um we right I think it was a couple months before we went into writing the record we um, we supported one of their headline tours in the UK and we came really fr um, good friends we, we've always loved the band every record um, we've always always been big big fans and it was like that tour was like a dream come true to us and when we were in the studio um, Jacoby hit me up and he was like like what are you guys doing and I'm like in the studio in LA and he's like if you need guest vocals I'm always here and I'm like do not joke about that because I'm gonna hit you up and we sent him the track he nailed it and it was really cool that is really cool that is awesome it's nice to get a helping hand from someone okay now where are you guys from Nagoya Japan where where is Nagoya um central Japan it's where they make um all the Toyota cars okay. so um, I don't I don't drive a Toyota car, but that's where they're made. <laughs> okay, do you know your ethnic background? Ethnic background? Yeah. Um, I don't know. What? Like what? What's the, your country of origin? Your parents? Oh, okay. My 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 dad's from Japan. Okay. My mom's from America. My dad's from um, Niigata, Japan, where they make a lot of rice. Um, famous for rice, good rice, the best rice in Japan, actually. Uh, my mom's from Iowa, where they make a lot of corn. Um, I love that. I love that. A lot of corn. So I love rice and corn. I mean, who doesn't? So, What kind of music did you grow up listening to? Um, a lot of definitely Japanese pop music um, to start out. My, I have a brother that's six years older than me. He was a big R&B, hip-hop, um, into, into that stuff. So like my early influences were like Mariah Carey, uh, Boys to Men. Um, yeah, I just loved, I love those singers that, like, when they did a collab together and stuff, I was a little kid and I was trying to hit Mariah Carey's notes and, like, impossible, but those were my early influences. Probably easier when you were a kid, yeah, though, yeah. than now. <laughs> now, I saw that you got to see some of your relatives for the first time here on Warp Tour? Yes. Um, it's been, it's been great. It's our third time here and every time I come out, um, I've been every time we've been coming out every state where there's re relatives that I've actually never met like I just met a, a, a cu cousin that I've never um, my mom's cousin I don't know how, how I don't even know how how I say how we're related but uh, like a far cousin yeah. that I just met um, and she really loves what we do as a band so it's really cool um, I've, it's it's, it's the last time I got to hang out with um, a lot of my cousins that I haven't seen, I wasn't um, able to see for like 10, 12 years. So it's been, it's been really great being out here. Me being half American, um, I felt the most American when I'm out here. So it's really cool. Um, okay, so now is a point in the interview where I talk about America. And there's a lot of violence that you hear about here and... Um, racism how do you see america from the outside does japan have problems like america does um when it comes to race i think it's 
it's not as mixed cultural as it is over here so it's it's uh, you don't really find those kind of issues but um i think for just looking at it from japan's standpoint we we have no guns we have no drugs no guns that are like obvious like um you don't you don't see people smoking weed all the time um you don't find you don't find people in danger of guns on a daily basis it's not you can't you can't go to a certain area and be threatened by anyone or be in danger of your life and i think it, that's that's the one thing that people if you live in japan you don't understand why there's so much guns in the u.s and why it's so normal to have a gun and it's it's hard it's hard to see people with so much hate towards racism race and so much hate with that much um violence um so it's it's for me especially because i i um I watch all kinds of news, but it's so hard to understand. I always try to understand what kind of emotions are behind that, but because I've never lived over here, it's so hard to get in touch with those emotions. But um, yeah, it, I, I think the one thing that I, the one thing people should start with is just getting rid of guns to begin with. Um, there's definitely way more peaceful ways to figure out stuff. So we, we fight with we fight with natural disasters back home. There's so many earthquakes, um, tsunamis that were threatened by nature that I think people kind of forget that it's it's hard to live without hating each other. So that's where I stand. Okay, can you show us your sickest tattoo, your best tattoo? Um, this is my, this is my first one. Okay. I still love it. Um, it's because I'm half Japanese, half American. That's my two sides. Um, and it it means the two sides are the key. Okay. So duality is the key. That's my. And my mom loves owls, so I got an owl, and I, I got the tattoo artist to make the owls kind of look like eagles. They do. So yeah. it's like so it's like an owl eagle thing going on. It's like the Japanese flag okay. in the background, okay. like mixing it up. Oh, that's really yeah. Um, what book are you reading right now? If you're reading any books. I'm terrible at reading books. Um, I can't get through them. Um, I seriously can't get through books. I fall asleep so fast. I'm always on the same chapter. I like if I, I can't get through chapters. I'm I'm terrible. So I'm more of a television movie person. Yeah. Okay. So if you were a character from Game of Thrones, have you been watching Game of Thrones? Um, off and on. Okay. Which which character would you be? You know what? I'm going to be the dragons because they're badass. They are bad. They are really. And it's like they grow up so quickly. So I like that or answer. <laughs> or Every, Everyone's Jon Snow. Everyone's Jon Snow. That's <laughs> dragons is better. Yeah, dragons is better. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with Best Rocklist today. It's Masato from Cold Rain. Thanks for having me.